Hi, this is Sheila Stromberg, Notorious SHE. Um, I am making a video on cabling today, which is like, oh, that's so redundant, Sheila. I know, I know. But this is hopefully a new method for doing cables. Um, I've never seen it done this way before, but I started doing it this way this weekend, and I really hope this helps somebody else. Um, if you've seen cabling done this way before, um, tell me where you saw it so that I can link other people to it because I've never seen this before. People need to know about this. This is so much easier. Um, so tell me if you guys have seen this anywhere before. Um, I was like designing for this glove pattern um, for my book, Hob Mitts, and like, oh my gosh, look at how many cables. Why did I do this to myself? Why did I design it this way? But it was so pretty and I just kept going. And like, look at how many on this stupid like sock weight yarn. Why did I do this to myself? But like, oh, it's so pretty. It's so worth it, right? Uh, so while I was knitting this up, um, the pattern is going to be called Ballin because it's from the Hobbit movies. So, you know, Ballin deserves a Ballin pattern. So I made him this awesome cable pattern. Um, so while I was knitting this, like, oh my gosh, knitting a cable on sock weight yarn on like size one needle, it is the worst. This is like torture, but like it looks so pretty, you know? Um, but like, oh, you have the cable needle, like all the stitches are slipping off it and fall, and then the cable needle falls in between the couch cushions, and then like you can't knit anymore, and it's just like, it's horrible. Like, I hate it. I hate it, but I love how it looks. So I had to figure out a better way. Um, so I'm going to show you guys not on this fine sock weight yarn because that would be too hard to see. Um, so I'm going to show you the sample on this really nice fat yarn. And it'll work just as well on this nice fat yarn as it does on super fine yarn, which is one thing that I think is great because all of the other methods I've seen for cabling without a cable needle um, have been, it only seems, in my opinion, to work on like really thin thick or really like coarse yarn that kind of holds itself together. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen cabling without a cable needle before. Um, I've seen two methods. I'll just really quickly go over them. So I've seen one method where people will like, like somehow slip the stitch. I don't remember which direction because I don't do it, but you slip the one and then you slide that one off and you just hope it doesn't fall. Magically, it's supposed to just stay there and not fall, which it always drops for me especially when you're on really fine yarn. Um, so you like slide the one off and then really quickly try to slide the needle back in the other one, which I think is just an exercise in madness. Um, and then obviously you can do the method with the needle. And then I've also seen a method where people will do, it only works I think on a one stitch cable and only if it's knit over knit, which wouldn't work for me because I like to do um, like this where the knit is traveling around on a field of pearl. So it doesn't work that way where you'll kind of you'll like knit into the first one and then come out and knit into the second one which like I said it does work but only if you're on knit over knit I haven't figured out a way to do it if it's knit over pearl so okay so I'm going to show you guys first these are the stitches we're going to go over cable one right which is sometimes abbreviated cab one r or just c one r depends on the pattern um, I do the picture like this so you can see the knit and then the grayed out is represent a pearl so a knit stitch over a pearl stitch so we're going to do cable one right, knit over pearl, cable one right, knit over knit, cable one left, knit over pearl, cable one left, knit over knit. Um, so, okay, so let's get started. So the cable one right, so you can see I have knit over pearl, so we're going to we're gonna just cable it. So these are cabling left, we're going to turn it back cabling right. Um, so we're going to, okay, so we're going to get started. What we're going to do is when we are, so we're going to slip the stitches. So it's kind of like doing decreases. If you've done a lot of lace knitting, it's it's a lot like some lace decreases that you'll see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our needle into the two stitches for one a cable that goes right. So we're going into the second stitch, not the first one. We're going in knitwise. So we should have both needles like that. Then we're just sliding them over to the right hand needle. Okay, so whenever we're sliding a stitch onto the right hand needle, we always are going to be going in knitwise right now. So we slide them over knitwise, and then we're going to slide them back purlwise. So we're always going knitwise onto the right hand needle, purlwise when we put them back. Okay, so we're sliding purlwise, and this time we're just going to do one at a time. So you can see that now the stitches are rearranged, the order. Oh my gosh. Oh the angels sing and this is the best thing that's ever happened to cabling okay like no cable needle no drop stitches this is 
just the best okay so let's see so then we're gonna just knit the one purl the second okay that's it easy peasy and you get really fast at it I promise so then we'll come to the knit over knit and we're gonna do it the exact same we're gonna slide them both to the right hand needle knit wise always when we're going on to the right hand needle knit wise so you can see if you know which stitch needs to be in the front. I want this stitch in the front. So that's what we're slipping from, from there. And slipping them back pro-wise. Always pro-wise when we're putting back. That will just keep the stitch oriented the correct direction when you knit into it. So then instead of knit purl, this time we just knit knit. Knit one, knit two. Easy peasy, okay? Let's get to the next one. So this one is cable one left. Oh, whoops, I made a mistake in my swatch. This is supposed to be a pearl. I'll fix that. Sorry, I was knitting this swatch kind of fast, as you can see. Okay. All right, back ready to go. Okay, so cabling left is a little bit trickier than cabling right, but it's really not too bad. What we're going to do is instead of slipping them both together knit-wise, we're slipping them one at a time knit-wise. So if you remember, by looking at it, this is the one that we want in the front. Whatever stitch is going in the front, that's the one our needle needs to go into first. So when we were going to the right, we went here, so now we're going to go here. Slip one, slip two, okay? Then we'll slip them back onto the left-hand needle, again, always pearl-wise. Slip them back together instead of one at a time because that would just keep them in the same order. We're slipping them this way. And that reorganizes them for us. There we go. Pearl one, knit one. This is like the best thing ever. Okay, like this is too easy for nobody to have invented this before me, right? Like somebody else has done this. So tell me where you saw it because like I just, people need to know about this. I didn't know about this. I've been doing ca cables for years the stupid way. <laughs> like, this is so much better. I don't know if it would work though if you have multiple stitches. I haven't experimented with that, but you guys can experiment and let me know if it works. Um, yeah, okay, so sorry, I wasn't telling you guys what I was doing. So we're cabling the one left, knit over knit. We're gonna slip the first stitch because that's the one we want on top. So we're slipping knit wise, knit wise, and then we're going back together. So you'll basically be having, and then knit the two. So you'll basically be moving only two stitches at a time. You're either going to go one at a time one way and then two together on the way back or the opposite. So we're always moving one at a time and then two together. So each sequence will always have both those things. You'll never move them the same, you know, one at a time, one at a time, and then one at a time back or else nothing would get moved, nothing would get rearranged. And then if you forget you can always watch the video again. So there we go. This is a revolution. Okay, nobody, we don't need to do cables anymore like the horrible way. So yes. Okay, I hope this video helps you guys. Um, let me know for real if you've seen this somewhere else. I would love to know if anybody has done this before. Um, okay, thanks. Bye.